Hello club members, you always here. Look at this crazy parking lot around me. Um, full, 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 full of cars. But uh, you know what? This is not this is not a bomb shelter. This is IKEA. Hey. Welcome to IKEA here in Israel. You can see it's even in Hebrew. And uh, as you see, even during the war time, Israelis likes to go to IKEA. Amazing. Full parking lot. Thousands of people. And they're not outside. They're all inside. I came over here to buy a laundry hanger. People told me that they have a good one. I used to buy these cheaper ones and they always break. So maybe here will be my my uh, my choice and my best choice maybe so I think it's cool to see it's the end of the summer break I mean the last two weeks and everyone the kids are have no schools or no summer camps so everyone taking their kids everywhere I believe we're gonna see a lot of kids inside and uh, with all these fun things and and uh, oh, I came to the exit. Maybe they let me in. Yes, they did. No, I'm Charlie Canes. Yeah, they did let me in. As you see, the kids are here. And uh, definitely interesting times in Israel. On one hand, we have the front in Gaza. We have soldiers fighting over there. And we have the crazy front in the north. We have close to 100,000 people that left their homes and living somewhere else because every day there is an attack. Only yesterday we had 50 rockets being shot to, uh, to the Golan Heights, to Katsrin, and three direct hits in houses. Thank God uh, no one got killed. Some people got injured lightly. And this reality is, is crazy in the north. In the south and around Jerusalem, where I, am, where I am, we feel it less, but in our hearts, we feel it. We still have 109 hostages, and uh, we know that our army has to fight a uh, few fronts. Only last night in Lebanon, uh, 10 locations of severe attacks by the Israeli Air Force, the, uh, one of the brigades um, in Gaza, uh, in the past week in Rafah killed 50 terrorists and they're still fighting and trying to look for for these terrorists and to prevent from them to do what they want to do is back to October 7th and attack us and destroy us basically so this is the reality I uh, will make another different video about what's going on with the negotiations what's the, the deal with with uh, basically um, the ceasefire and the, the deal that everyone talking about I think there is a misconception here you know the American uh, government really wants quiet for the elections and for various of reasons and um, they want ceasefire they want the war to over the Israelis want the hostages back and wants Hamas not to be functioning because they're saying it out loud that they're gonna do it again and they're gonna destroy Israel so basically, there's, and, and in the middle, between these sides, we have Hamas that is still alive. Their leader is still there under underground. And uh, all these interests, uh, and they're not going to give up their life, you know. I mean, they have hostages that basically giving them um, a warranty, <laughs> basically uh, uh, um, insurance for life as long as they're around them. So they're not going to give up. All of this is bringing us to a situation that is almost impossible to create an agreement. And I'll get into the details, into the Israeli agenda in another video, or maybe later today or, or even soon together with this video. But meanwhile, um, with all the contrast, I want you to see <laughs> IKEA in Israel. Um, prices are IKEA prices in shekels, by the way. I'm going backwards because I hate the beginning. I want to get directly to my target and leave as soon as possible. So I hope, uh, I hope uh, I'll do it. 
I'll update on the uh, on the mission success later.